are going to uh, Statue of Liberty. I'm going to take a cruise there and Ellis Island. Statue of Liberty. Here we come. So, hi guys. So, I'm riding on a ferry going to the Statue of Liberty. That's the Statue of Liberty. Yes. Going there. It's take about uh, 30 minutes going to the island. So, this is the whole view of New York. That's it. And that's the island we're going to. So, I'll just update you. Uh, I'll just update you after this. Bye bye. So this again? The New York the Statue of Liberty. Yes. The Statue of Liberty is one of the most iconic landmarks in the world, and it is a must-see for any visitor to New York City. The ferry ride to Liberty Island is a great way to see the statue up close. And the views from the crown are simply breathtaking. So hi guys, I'm here in the Statue of Liberty. So this is the skyline. This is the skyline. Uh, and of course, the Statue of Liberty there. So after there, we go there. So this is the Manhattan skyline here. This is the Manhattan skyline. When you gaze across New York Harbor, the Manhattan skyline is striking. Hundreds of songs and movies pay homage to this iconic image of New York City. Its vast length and height allows visitors to see it from various locations and angles for a truly spectacular and all-encompassing experience. The Manhattan skyline is an unparalleled display of urban achievement imposing skyscrapers define the character of NYC. And it is these that especially capture your attention when you sail by Manhattan. So, after this, we'll go to Take a picture in the Statue of Liberty. In the Statue of Liberty. Woo. This is the whole view here in the Statue of Liberty. And this is also an, this is an island. And the flag of America. Yes. And the great Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. The great. So, yes. so it's tourist vibes. Uh, an American flag. That's it. Station. Yes. After that, we're going to go to the sky. And also, the skyline. The skyline. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, we're in Liberty. Stay Liberty. Here in Liberty Island. Liberty Island. Liberty Island. It's very cold here, guys. That's the state of Liberty. Yeah. Lady Liberty. A Lady Liberty. And then the, this one is this, the Manhattan skyline. That's the, yeah. There, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. The tallest there, yeah, that's the One World Conservatory. That's where the world, uh, the Twin Towers. Yeah. Let's see. to Florida. So this is the Liberty Island. One well-known representation of liberty and democracy is the Statue of Liberty, 
It is a musty monument because of its imposing appearance and extensive history. An amazing experience is created by the statue's exquisite design, which stands boldly in New York Harbor and the stunning views from Liberty Island. The pedestal's educational displays give the visit more depth and make it both amazing and educational. On July 4th, 1880 for France presented the United States with an incredible birthday gift, the Statue of Liberty. Without its pedestal, it's as tall as a 15-story building. She represents the United States. But the world-famous Statue of Liberty standing in New York Harbor was built in France. The statue was presented to the U.S., taken apart, shipped across the Atlantic Ocean in crates, and rebuilt in the U.S. It was France's gift to the American people, the real reason the Statue of Liberty is green. The Landmarks website explains that Lady Liberty's green color is called patina, and it comes from the natural weathering of copper surfaces. Oxidation occurs when any element chemically combines with oxygen. Hi guys! So, so far, that's the best thing. Uh, and this is to do. This is to do. Super cool. Now we're going to Rockefeller. So this is the Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center is a large complex consisting of 19 commercial buildings covering 22 acres between 48th Street and 51st Street in the Midtown Manhattan neighborhood of New York City. Rockefeller Center is a national historic landmark in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, home to top of the Rock Observation Deck, NBC Studios, Radio City Music Hall and much more. Shop, dine and explore at one of New York's most inspiring locations. What is special about the Rockefeller Center? The complex is noted for the large quantities of art present in almost all of its buildings. Its expansive underground concourse, its ice skating rink, and its annual lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Right. Next step, St. Patrick's Cathedral. St. Patrick's Cathedral. So, this is St. Patrick of Cathedral. This traffic report is brought to you by MajorLevel.com. I'm Lauren Wolfer. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with things I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up. St. Patrick's Cathedral is a Catholic cathedral in the Midtown Manhattan neighborhood of New York City. It is the seat of the Archbishop of New York as well as a parish church. The cathedral occupies a city block bounded by 5th Avenue, Madison Avenue, 50th Street, and 51st Street, directly across from Rockefeller Center. Designed by James Renwick Jr. 
It is the largest Gothic Revival Catholic Cathedral in North America. Uh, this is the end of my video guys. I hope you like, subscribe to my channel. This is Ricky Carver. Until the next video guys.